What's up guys? Welcome back to the Educated Barfly. Today we're going to do a French 75. Now the French 75 was first created by Harry McElhone at Harry's uh, New York Bar in 1915. That's where it was first made. And then what people said about it was that it provided you with such a kick, they likened it to the French 75 millimeter howitzer artillery piece. Uh, and that's where it gets its name from. It was popularized in America at the Stork Club, and it was first recorded in print by none other than Harry Craddock in his Savoy cocktail book from 1930. Um, all right, that's what I got for you, and I think that's enough. Let's get into making the cocktail. I'm gonna put this aside so you see what I'm doing. First thing we're gonna do is half an ounce of simple syrup. And half an ounce of lemon juice, and then just one single ounce of gin. Today we're using beef eater. Now I'll put this over here, and we are gonna add our ice. And shake. Of course. There we are, double strain into our glass. Get those nice ice shards out, because we want this to be nice and clean. And then we're just going to top it up with champagne. Now you don't have to get expensive champagne, and it doesn't actually necessarily have to be champagne. Nobody's gonna kill you if you make it with kava or sparkling wine. I like to get splits, you know, unless you're doing a whole bunch of them because then you don't have to open a whole big uh, bottle of champagne, you know, and then like get the wine saver out and, or I don't know, some people are like, put argon gas in it so you can preserve it. It's just easier to just get a split, small, small little one. There we go. And we're just gonna top it up with our champagne. You want to make sure that you pour it a little short so that when that happens, you don't overflow your glass. And then we're just going to give it a nice little lemon twist. Rub the stem. I like to throw it in. And there we have it, the French 75. All right, let's get this stuff out of our way and taste this bad boy. You know, basically a gin sour with the addition of champagne, it is so light and refreshing. I'm not sure that I, here's the thing, I'm not sure that I agree that you feel a kick when you drink it, because it's so smooth and so, and so well balanced, but I'll guarantee you that this is going to provide a nice kick, because it's pretty alcoholic. You've got gin on top, you've got champagne on top of gin, so there you go. There you have it, the French 75.